Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding daily leads and partners and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called daily sales with four different columns, date ID, make name, lead ID, and the partner ID. This table does not have a primary key. This table contains the date and the name of the product sold and the IDs of the lead and the partner it was sold to. Okay. The name consists, consists of only lowercase English letters. Okay. We are asked to write a SQL query that will, for each date ID and the make name, return the number of distinct lead IDs and the distinct partner IDs. Okay return the result in any order okay so let's go through this example so here we are given a bunch of records for different date ids and make names so if we see for 8th of december 2022 2020 and make name toyota these are the three rows right so here how many distinct leads do we have zero and one because it is a repetition right so two distinct leads and how many distinct partners one zero and two so basically three so 8th of december 2020 toyota there should be two distinct leads and three partners so if you see 8th december 2020 toyota two unique leads and three unique partners similarly for 8th of december 2020 honda two distinct leads and two distinct partners so same is the case right right so let's go ahead and build this query so what we need to do is from this table called daily sales what are we doing for each date id and make name right so to do that we group by the date id as well as the make name so once we do that then what we can do is we can return the same columns which we grouped by because we are required to have that in our output date id and the make name so return date id and the make name and then for the third and fourth column we need to count for each date and make name how many distinct lead ids are there and how many distinct partners are there so how do we get that we use count distinct right so count of distinct values in which column lead id and since this is un aliased as unique lead so basically the name of this column is unique leads in the output so we alias this as as unique leads and finally for the fourth column we need to get the distinct partners so distinct partners is basically count distinct of the column partner id so count distinct of the column partner id and we alias it as unique partners because this is the name that we need to have in our output table so yeah, this looks good and let's go ahead and try to run this and see if it works. Okay, so this is accepted. Our output is same as expected output. There is no difference. So let me go ahead and submit it and see if it passes all the test cases. So yeah, it passes all the test cases, runs pretty efficiently as well. So yeah, this is how we solve this problem. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know guys if this video was helpful and this is how we think step by step in such problems and how do we go about trying to build queries right from the very basics in such problems. If you think this problem was not very difficult, all you had to do is just group by a certain column and then count the other uh, columns and alias it as something, right? And that is what you had to do to get the output. So yeah, let me know guys if this video was useful and until then I will see you guys in the next video.